Hello there my little tattoo lovers and everybody else. So today we are talking about these motherfuckers, you know? So, okay, let's start. And because you are asking me to ask likes always and I'm not asking, I'm gonna make this one, I'm gonna include it to every single video now, like this. I was forced to do this, but uh, subscribe, like and put notification bell, whatever. Okay, enjoy. Ciao. The first ever unboxing ever. I don't know what is it yet, but we will understand very soon. Fuck, it's packed very... Okay, something... Uh... Damn. Looks fancy. <clears throat> so, ink in. Art in your skin. Okay. Oh, oh. A bag. Cartridges. Oof. Oof. <clears throat> we are a young, bold, and creative brand disturbing the traditional tattoo industry. Our products bridge the gap between the artist's vision and their ability to bring unique stories and art to life and skin. We are in support of every step of the way. Let's create together. Let's create together, motherfucker. Let's uh, understand what is this new creatures. You know what I like now? I mean, uh, we do understand uh, that Inkin is uh, like a daughter company from IZ. <clears throat> the quality of the box, I don't really understand all this unboxing, but fuck. Only for you I'm doing this unboxing. The actual quality of box is super premium. <laughs> like really super premium. Uh, I'm surprised. <clears throat> so what we're having here? We have two machines. It is a direct drive. The name is Rampage. And look, uh, this is what I actually like. Uh, about uh, is that and uh, ink team together they do really listen what artist wants and uh, for example you have a sticker now you have a nice uh, book you know and uh, let's just continue digging super fancy like like so whoa Finally, you don't need a full box when you're traveling somewhere. You just have little this thingy. Amazing. Woo! The color is crazy nice. So, looks like this. This is a 4.0 stroke. And this one will be 4.5. Super, super interesting. I guess this is the wire for charging. Wire can be put inside as well. Yes, I'm right. Mm, I'm a little bit uh, like a kid on the Christmas, you know. So we have one more sticker. Who made this sticker? Not for sale. Christian Cano Cassini. Very nice design. Let's just check another machine which color is this ah oh, perfect purple so they are different color for me and this is very important uh, because now i'm gonna have this one for point was 4.0 this 4.5 perfect and uh, unboxing is done looks messy as hell but it's not about unboxing it's about what we can do with these machines okay now, I guess we're gonna start with the boring part, technical stuff and shit. Okay, let's continue. So, the first time in the history I've made an unboxing. And uh, today we are recording video in a super strange way, because I'm having a help of uh, live stream people. And they're asking the questions about these tattoo machines. And uh, I will be including, answering the question, to actual people who are interested in this machine. But first, let's go on the technical part. Uh, 
So what I actually noticed, what I had, what kind of problems I had, what was good, what was not. And uh, yeah, let's start. So these are the new machines from the Enkin. The name is uh, Rampage. And uh, let's start with the technical parts about it. So what's good? First of all, the balance. Uh, they made a good balance. So it is not uh, going too much in the front. It's not going in the back. It's just perfect in the middle. It's a bit uh, heavy than uh, other machines, I would say. But it's actually good because you don't have so much vibration. Almost nothing. Almost no vibration. If you're gonna switch it off, switch it on. So working a little bit loud. If we compare it to other machines from the same group, I would say this machine is a little bit loud, but it's loud only because it's direct drive. And they have the motor inside, which is uh, very similar to turbo, I would say. But from other part, it's not completely the same motor because it's a different setup inside the machine. So the balance is good. What I liked as well more, the batteries easy out easy in and what's the best about it is uh, if you have a multiple machines yeah you can do like this and it's working you know so this is nice actually and why I like this thing of switching stuff because let me show you another machine which is uh, kind of connected to the, this machine, but it's not connected. But anyway, I can include it in the video because it's my video and I can do whatever I want. So, these are pros. And what's the best part about it? The batteries are coming in different uh, colors. So I can make the colorful tattoo machines, whatever, and just enjoy it, you know. Ciao, Janczyk. Dawaj. The gardener having... Uh, hello to everyone. So, balance is good, batteries are good. Uh, working time. In all these uh, two or three weeks of me testing them, I was working uh, long hours and none of them was drained completely out. So, battery survived perfectly and I had only like until the middle of the battery basically this was good. The impression of these machines, Carl is asking, so impression of these machines are, this is nice, you know, this is a lux, lux again. And why lux? Because, well, first of all, it doesn't uh, feel cheap, you know, it, it feels like, like, I don't even know how to explain, fuck, it, it feels good. And, and that's it. I don't want to say some extra whatever words or bullshit or something like this. For me it was good. The only thing what I didn't really like is the sound. But uh, this sound was coming only from the magnums. And uh, let me take a needle. So if we take a magnum needle, as well we're gonna have some liner here. Doesn't really matter which brand it is, only because of the insides when it's like pushing the needle out, it's making the sound. It's uh, not a critical sound or something like this, but this is the sound. This is the magnum. And this is the liner or shader. So it doesn't really matter which brand of needles you're using, you're gonna have the sound. For someone it's uh, actually a good thing, for me I prefer to work in uh, silence more. And about the silence what I mean, if I'm gonna take uh, another machine and I'm gonna take the same needles, wait, this is the Magnum. Magnum from Viserec is always, always a little bit loud, but... And this is the liner or shader, you know, from uh, other needles. 
so the sound is uh, is loud not like crazy loud like coal, ma coal machines but anyway it's louder and uh, because we have this direct drive system inside unfortunately I cannot show it because it's hidden inside you know and because of this direct drive system we have this uh, little bit of vibration so what I do but I do it with all the machines anyway I'm just uh, wrapping a paper towel around like to make it more fat and uh, because of the paper towel it actually reduces all the vibration so this is about the feeling interesting question is the color scratch resistant let's see it is scratch resistant <laughs> but they have two colors so basically one glare second mate easy no scratches metal so again this machine both of them they are not made for the beginners well first of all it is direct drive so it hits hard and these machines are made for professionals so not beginner friendly machines i'm gonna explain you why the heat is strong and uh, if you want to make a line when you're a beginner it will possibly make some kind of blowout in your tattoo you know and you really don't need it so if you're a beginner tattoo artist like really really beginner who started like today or two weeks ago i don't suggest you to get this if you are a professional artist who wants to increase the quality of work and speed of your work because even i was working faster with these machines and i'm i'm slow you know then you can try these machines now the good part what i actually liked about the machines good and bad part so they are coming with stroke which is not adjustable so i have one machine with 4.0 second machine i have 4.5 stroke the biggest uh, not the biggest but like a mistake what uh, they've done in the production they forgot to market so if you have two green machines and one machine is 4.0 second one is 4.5 you will get lost completely because there is no number of the stroke on the machine good that i told it straight away to them and they fixed it already <laughs> but i got them without the the mark of the stroke uh, returning back about the scratches yes you can do autoclave the thing about when you are autoclaving it and making sterilization you need to have a lube or maybe even a vaseline you know because when you are uh, cleaning this one in autoclave it will completely reduce all the lube which is around the machine so what i'm doing uh, usually when i'm just uh, like dropping in the special liquid to kill the bacteria but i'm using a little bit of vaseline around the machine and then it again slides inside like it should slide you know because uh when you don't have any lube and you are always opening and closing regulating the needle it actually destroys these little o-rings which is uh here you know this one and this one so when you don't have a loop you will basically destroy the o-rings and when you're destroying the o-rings the grip is not so stable so we need these o-rings to st stabilize the grip itself and if you don't have them then the heat inside the needle it will be not always the same because the grip will start to move so be careful with this what i actually suggested to inkin not only about the actually mark of the stroke of the machine but i suggested to make one with 5.0 stroke as well and uh, why 
This is exactly why I'm telling this is not for the beginners, because beginners will not understand, they just don't have a practice to understand which stroke you need to use where. If we have places like a forearm, lower leg, upper leg, then uh, 4.0 is like completely enough for everything. Yeah, but when we start to make tattoos on the chest, uh, these parts next to the armpits, armpits, back, the lower, the ass, then we really need to use uh, 4.5 and 5.0 because on places like this, it is super hard to work because if customer is in this position, the skin like comes very close together. And even when you are stretching it, it's still very soft. The same happens with the ass, you know, or a neck. So for these places, I really suggest them to make uh, 5.0. And I really hope they're gonna do it because we were talking about it already with them. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see. Uh, the question from the chat, is there a black color? I don't know. Let's check it. So the colors that I actually see for 4.5 millimeter, it is uh, the violet one. Then we have dark green and we have a black and we have a green completely. And we have a green logo with a black machine. So basically there is a the different colors for you to choose from. 4.0, the same colors, but when you're taking 4.0, it is a matte color, like I understood it, and uh, 4.5, it's more like glare. So this is the only way how you can understand which is machine, like which machine have which stroke, but uh, they changed it already, so you can be safe, I hope. I will ask it again, but I think it's done already. The voltage, voltage I was using them on. I was making experiments and uh, these experiments was starting the day with uh, 7.5 volts and other half of the day was with 8.5 volts. Why? Just to check uh, what's going on and uh, with 8.5 it's much more faster to work for sure, but you need to be extremely, extremely careful to not over damage the skin. You can work with these machines in any style you want with one thing. You cannot go million times over and over and over the same place. They're strong. So basically, if you like to overlay, you can do this, but you need to be careful. If you want to pack with these machines, they are very good for packing. Actually, these machines are made for people who like styles of work like uh, Thomas Carlier, for example. But these machines are perfect for this style. Or Matteo Pasqualini. Just perfect for this style. Color? It's packing inside perfectly. So basically everyone who is doing color gonna enjoy this machine super nice. What I didn't uh, reach and I didn't really like when I was working with them is the black and gray in the way I'm working with Turbo, not Turbo, with Pro. Because with Pro I'm just packing this color for black and gray inside and it is still smooth and uh, easy. With these machines you can do this, but it will be difficult. These machines are made for polishing the black and gray on the skin, and then you have completely no problem. So, what else, what else? So again, the question from the chat, compare them to machine from Easy, which is P3 Pro Turbo, not Pro, just Turbo. I cannot really compare these machines because Turbo is extremely overpowered to the maximum. So I would say that Rampage is in the middle of these two machines. So extremely soft, extremely brutal, and this is like the golden middle 
but uh, for professionals golden middle does not exist because professionals like pro artists are actually using the machines for the special things what they are doing yeah so for me i'm using a pro to uh, just pro only because i can overlay to the maximum like i can overlay 20 times and nothing will happen to the skin yeah some tribal or black work art is gonna use this one because it's like a marker to prah it just goes inside so these machines are the middle like a golden middle of these two like uh, super pro artists maybe will not use it but if you are in the medium range and you're still experimenting and learning then these machines are for you so this is the comparison uh, about the line work so here comes the good and tricky part like i told from the start not for the beginners beginners will completely have a nice chance to fuck up the skin you know so medium class artists medium advanced uh, i would say advanced yeah uh, you will like it because it is like one hit it is not extremely brutally strong but still it's strong enough to make the lines i was trying to make line with a uh, 14 round shader and it was like one one movement and the line is inside which is good and i suck at line work and if i can do line work then i think you can do line work as well easy about the question not the question but like a comment on the live it sounds like it's a really good quality product it is uh looks from the chinese machines i would say like this i can no this was strange because there is no more difference between a chinese machine which is made with a professional factory and for example american brand which is made in maybe the same chinese factory you know uh, so it's a very very difficult to say it's just the price difference but this machine is good so what i actually did because i was posting uh, on instagram every day what i was doing and every day it was plus minus different work so the first one i started with uh, continuing of the piece with a cover-up and for the cover-up i was using uh, 4.5 plus it's a chest and this was going inside well you know like super well because i started cover-up with a uh, soft machine i was doing the base and it is good to make a base with a soft machine because after that when the base is completely healed you can go with the contrast and pack this ink completely so all tattoo will disappear and you will see nothing basically so this machine was working good with the cover-ups for sure the second one was the color work mm -hmm. and here is the time when i got surprised because even that I was overlaying a lot, tattoo actually healed in three days anyway. And uh, it healed in the same way like it would heal with uh, my soft machine what I'm working usually. And I was really surprised because uh, it's strange feeling. It's like a hard machine, but still you like overwork the skin and still you don't damage the skin. So this was uh, interesting. What I didn't like about color work is my small details, you know, because I'm using like three round shader and three round shader is like extremely sharp needle. Like it is extremely, extremely sharp needle because it's open and it goes under your skin like immediately. With a soft machine, it goes perfect inside. With this machine, I don't really suggest you to use small group. It's better if you are using round shaders starting from 7, maybe 9, 14. These machines will show the real uh, working power with this needle group. But with the small needles, not really, how should I say, it's not very comfortable to work with these machines with a small group of needles. 
So, yes. For example, Polish style, like Polish uh, tattooing style, you need this. Like this is made for you. You can do whatever fuck you want. And mostly uh, all the Polish style is based on the big magnums and the bigger liners and the shaders and stuff like this. So this machine is made for Poland actually. But possible, I don't know. Uh, yeah, something like this. Uh, about the needles as well. When I was using the big magnum, and I was using even 27, just to try. It was going inside well. Still need to understand how it is a healing and stuff like this, but it was going well. Even with the color work, because I was doing live stream and maybe people notice, maybe not. But for some areas I was using really big magnum, just to understand how it is putting the ink inside. And then we seen it on another live stream with the already healed piece. Uh, here and healed good no problems completely the another style i was doing this was the black and gray and this was actually polishing on the skin and uh, we're coming back to let's say matteo pasqualin or tom Callier, and they're actually like polishing and polishing until they're gonna reach the tone what they need and these machines are working perfectly for this like these machines are made for this style plus all Poland and uh, I don't even know who else. But black and grey with this style if you are fast and you like this uh, polishing all the time this is perfect for you. Plus the strokes are good. The question uh, did I work on the scars with them? No I didn't, I didn't have a chance. But uh, it all depends as well what kind of scars we are having. So, at some point I would like to try this on scars, and from other side, they would be a little bit too much for the scars, you know? So you always need to find the balance on this. And now, the black and grey with the packing inside the black and grey, this is what I told before. Didn't really like it, because with this machine they're, they're strong, Me medium strong, I would say like this. And when you're packing the black and grey with them, it's... Uh, it's dirty. The tattoo looks dirty itself. You cannot really make it like super super smooth by packing the black and grey. If we are polishing the black and grey on the skin, perfect. But if we are packing black and grey, not so perfect. But, returning to the packing and packing with the color. If in the future I need one area which, will, which needs to be like completely 100% black, I will use this machine because we are returning back to the Polish style, let's say, and these motherfuckers are packing inside. They are packing inside. So this is super super mixed up situation with uh, actually working when you're working a lot. So my final verdict about this, I would I would say it like that. If I need extremely big area packed, I would use something like this. And only with one condition that I can do it with one or two passes, because after two passes I'll just completely destroy the skin. So this is the minus about the turbo. If I need 100% black, I cannot really reach it with the soft machine. It doesn't really matter how much I'm gonna polish. I can, of course I can reach the uh, result. But it will take me like 5 or 10 times more time to actually make it black. So in this case, I would take something like this and make it in 2-3 passes with the crosses. And in this case, for sure I will need this machine in my working uh, routine, let's say like this. Uh, interesting question about uh, if I worked on delicate places like elbow. Yes, I did work with elbows and this would be the next one. Uh, it is packing in. Yeah, but not packing in so brutally. So with this machine you can easily work on the elbows without having uh, way too much blood or lympha. And you still can see what you are doing even with uh, yellows or orange tones or super light tones, 
you still will be able to see what you are doing you know so this is the plus again plus we need more minuses i guess uh, let's go for the summary like all in all <clears throat> if you are a beginner don't buy this machine beginner i mean like since day one until half a year maybe you don't need this machine this machine is for professionals if you are an advanced artist it's a uh, one of possibly i don't really want to say must have but you will enjoy working with these machines if you're a pro you know what you're using anyway so this will be easy for pro artists but in the styles i mentioned before what i really like is the way how they presented these machines of course there was this small mistake about not showing the actual stroke on the machine but they changed it now and it's fixed but the presentation of this machine was perfect i mean coming in this luxury see it's already like a luxe class presentation i would say as well inkin is uh, fighting for tattoo artists as well you know for Inkin as a new company, it's important to have a perfect reviews on the products to help them grow better. And uh, the messages like this, what I have on the box, it actually makes me understand that uh, they do care about things what they do and care about you artists. Returning back, we've done the unpacking already. You've seen it, you didn't see it, but we've seen it. Hi, Justin. So the packaging itself, this is uh, extremely nice. Super, super nice quality. And uh, this is the thing I like about brands who are coming on the market not just to sell you something but uh, show you that they respect you and they want you to work with them not just you to buy their shit and forget about you but actually work with you and I guess the system of uh, support is the same with, like with EZ I have already not many but everyone who had a problem they was easy contacting the brand a brand was changing uh, everything what was broken without even asking the questions like if we compare this or easy with anyone else from the big brands forget about it with a big brand you're gonna wait and wait and wait until they're gonna fix your stuff and maybe it will be like three four five six months until you're gonna receive it back and there is no guarantee that you don't need to pay for this with them you don't pay for nothing if it's broken by the mistake of the company company refunds you new machine new battery or even changing something for something different so this is what i'm talking about you know they do care about the two artists. <clears throat> what can I say more? Fuck, I don't even know what to say more. So, links are in the description or maybe in pinned comment. The pricing. Pricing with this machine. <laughs> even I didn't know the pricing. So, the pricing... <laughs> if you are buying one without extra battery, I'm again shot because two hundred and nine dollars. What? And if we are taking it with extra battery, it is two hundred fifty nine dollars. And if you are clicking in the link what I posted down, it's minus ten percent. 
as well. Plus free shipping. It's like a Christmas present, I don't know. <laughs> Again, this is what I like about brands from China, you know? It's not like it used to be before. China is not producing shit anymore. And this is amazing. Now China do care about tattoo artists. This is, ah, in my brain, it's just like fucking like a explosion or whatever, like a... It's like a shock, you know? And these machines, even if they're better than we had the machines like rotary machines or before, they're better than them and the rotaries before like a normal rotary would cost you 350 or like 400 euro or dollars. And this machine is like 200 dollars, which is better than before, which you have no problems. Ah, oh, this is nice. Nice world we are living, you know? Actually very good. <laughs> the question from the chat again, what inks I'm using? I'm using Radiant, I'm always using Radiant. And it doesn't really matter what you are using, you just need the correct ink for what you need, you know, and that's it. If you feel comfortable with some brand, just stick with the brand. Or experiment with other brands. But today we are talking about the machines. And... Uh, it's overkill, again, didn't have any issues with them, like all what I had already explained in the video, so yes, I don't know, I think we're gonna end here, enjoy, if you want to buy it, I'm not forcing anyone to buy it, but if you want, for this price, then uh, you have nothing to lose, you know, leaks are there, so whatever so bye see you in the next video and thanks for uh stream and youtube to help me out with this one it was interesting but as well cringy but anyway it was fun so yeah see you in the next video okay ciao this was nice thank you for joining